Today we're in the cockpit and I want to show you the reasons why I love the Link ECU and how it saved my car. <laughs> I use an AIM MXS Strider Dash, which reads everything from the Link ECU. And I've got a whole bunch of switches over here. The top row is all to do with lights, indicators, etc. And the middle line is where the fun happens. So I've got things like boost control. is the launch control. Traction control. first time that I tested out the traction control. It needs a lot of tuning and maybe in the future I could do it with the electric throttle instead of the timing like it is in this video. Here's one of my demonstration runs from the Adelaide Motorsport Festival last year. The ECU cut the fuel because one of my fuel pumps had become schematic, so when I hit high boost in fourth gear, I will listen to the fuel cuts. And of course, the fuel cut stuffed my run up, but losing an engine would stuff my whole day up. We're now at Winton Raceway in Victoria. This is where I experience an oil pressure drop. You can see on the dash it lights up red and my light is flashing because the ECU has limited the power because of an oil pressure drop. Uh, I checked the lungs afterwards and it was true. It only dropped 5 psi but the Link ECU stepped in to make sure there was no damage done. And I keep drifting and I'll let the rest of this track play out because it's a pretty awesome track. until after the event that I had no wastegate. The diaphragm had completely disintegrated, so the engine was limiting the RPM to keep the boost down. And I've noticed on the last corner when I grabbed fourth gear, the engine cuts out completely and then comes in again. It's because it would have overboosted above 23 PSI. recommend the Link ECU for anyone that takes motorsport seriously and I run the Link Fury which is specific for six cylinder engines. Make sure you subscribe to my videos and check out how we go in Drift Masters in two weeks.